accident. What's good everybody? This is the one and only GM and I got a new Tekken 8 video for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to let you guys know, similar to my old school Tekken 7 video that got a lot of views, what characters are good for beginners and what characters is good for when you start first start playing Tekken 8. If it fits your playstyle, what characters are good for people starting the game. So let's start with Asusina. Asusina, I'm going to be real with you, she is more like Josie than she is Katarina or Lucky Chloe. She has a lot of strings, a lot of cancelable strings, and counter hits finishing strings. A lot of low high, mid highs and low lows and stuff like that. She does have the evasionist, but she's more like Josie than any other character. So if you're a Josie player and you like these string type characters, I would recommend Asa Senna for you just because she's more like, uh, you know, I could even say maybe Fakuram, but not really more like Josie. If you like Josie, you good to go with her. Claudio is ex is very very easy. He has very easy buttons. Um, running two is just press forward three times, and then he does running two now. That's for any character running. So he's extremely easy. Easy combos. Back three, side step four, down forward one, back one. He's a very very easy character, and I think anybody could play with him. He's extremely easy to play. And he's very offensive and very strong, and he might be one of the best characters. He's one of the best characters in Heat. A lot of chip damage and a lot of nonsense that he has. It's, he could just deplete your chip, your chip really OD like that. So I would I would suggest playing with him if you want to play with a real strong character that has great offense and utilizes the Heat system better than a lot of other characters in the game. Brian Fury is definitely a lot easier to play in this game than in everything they simplified everything um something else you guys might not know too uh you know how sway characters could backdash cancel when they backdash cancel they could mess up with the sway well now you could just press bat back and the character backdash cancel so they even make backdash cancel easy. so you could do bat back down bat back down bat back down and you could do a real clean backdash cancel a lot of people don't know that but um you could do that in the game um, he's mostly for counter hit fishing guys if you if you want a lot of plus frame safe buttons and a lot of counter hit fishing you know he's one of the few characters that can still hit you on counter hit and take your whole bar because a lot of characters in the game they took out counter hits so if you want somebody really offensive that still has that counter hit game he's good to go and he does a lot of damage and he's pretty safe uh martial law is also very simplified in the game uh dss um, you just have to press forward for him to go with DSS. Um, the slide input is also easier and made it easier for you to do slides. So the most technical thing about martial law was the DSS where you have to do it perfectly. But now you can just press forward and it just makes his whole mind games and uh, uh, everything a lot easier to play. The only thing that's still kind of hard with him is of course they made the slides a little bit easier to do. But it's still kind of hard to do the whole slide mind game. And I feel like he doesn't really prosper from heat way too much. So, um, yeah, guys, I think Law is a little bit one of the harder characters to play just because he has to poke a lot more. He's very poke orientated. And his heat stuff isn't the best. He doesn't do a lot of chip damage in the heat. And um, he, he still has to play a lot of Tekka to beat you. So, But Law is still good, though. He's still good, but... You know, if you want a, a slide type character, you know, he's as easy as he's going to be. But he's still a little bit harder to play just because of that. Um, Paul Phoenix, of course, he's a beginner character, right? The only thing with Paul is that neutral can be kind of hard because he doesn't have like real easy traditional pokes. But like I said, they make backdash canceling easier. And a lot of his moves that go into heat is really simple, right? Like the new homie move, I think it's forward four. Uh, the deafest goes in the heat. On hit, quarterback two goes in the heat. Um, his heat smash move is Demolition Man, real easy knockdown low. So he's pretty simple and, and you know, and easy to get into. It's just like spacing and poking with him might be a bit difficult because he doesn't have the best pokes, but he does a lot of high damage. And I feel like he's kind of like an explosive type character. So if you want a guy, you want to play with a guy that you might take a little bit more risk for the 50 50, because everybody does 50 50s in this game, right? Because of the heat. But he really prospers from 50-50s and he because he's a 50-50 carry. He got Demo Man, Death Fist, Hop Kick. You know what I'm saying? So he's really good for that. 
So if you want to take more risks and do more 50-50s, Paul is there for you. Uh, Jack 8. Very poke heavy. Has a lot of Gigas armor moves to absorb pressure. Um, so he's pretty he's pretty strong in this game just because of that. You know, if you play Gigas and you also play Jack, he's also good for you. He could deal with a lot of offense in a game that's hard to deal with offense because of all the heat and chip damage and stuff. Like I said, he's a bit big and he's not the fastest character. So you might have trouble. But if you want to play with a big man and you just like good at playing big man characters, he's for you. Just get ready to learn how to poke a lot because that's what Jack has to do. He has to do a lot of crouching down back ones. And down by once, he has to do the, the heat. He has to put the pressure in. So Jack is good for you if you want to play that. Um, in this game, he's a little bit more complicated than in other games. And the reason why is because they added the armor stomp, the, the armor absorption, the gigas stuff. He has a lot more gimmicks now. The stomp. So there's a lot more to do with Jack. Um, one of the easier things is that debugger and one is also simplified too but everybody's pretty simplified and i think almost everybody can play any any character you just gotta figure out if that character is meant for you by playing them a uh, king of course king is simplified but you know like the running moves are easier so you could do instant shining wizard just by tapping forward three times and then two plus four um he has a lot of good stuff in heat four to one in heat full combo and uh things of that nature and um, he can also get free throw mix-ups when he's in heat too. So he has his 50-50s are all in throws. So if you're good at mixing up throws and you want to play a character that always puts you in a blender once he puts you in heat, King is for you. And of course he gets full life off a of down 4 2 one still. So King is pretty gimmicky too. He lost a lot of his unblockable setups. But another thing, he's also, they treat him like a big man character, right? He's pretty slow in this game. So, um, you have to be worried with that. Like, he's not going to really move anywhere. But, he's meant to be played offensive because how good his mix-ups are now. So, if you want to play a really offensive, you know, in-your-face type character, King is there for you. Uh, Kazuya, he's Mishima. You already know how Kazuya is. Get a knockdown, constant 50-50s. This game is meant for somebody like Kazuya, which has always been a 50-50 character. This game wants you to do 50-50s. One thing that also a lot of people don't know is that when you in heat and you do an electric you don't need to do the just frame for the electric comes out the electric is always going to come out when you in heat so it's really really cheap and if you want to play a mishima this is the best game to play the mishima because it's the easiest version of mishima as possible and also when he goes in heat he has devil form and devil form he has the bear hug which is jimpachi's move safe on block full combo really good man so why not if you want to play mishima now perfect time to play mishima go in a heat do a regular Gothis, Electra comes out. Why not, right? Uh, Nino Williams, right? Nina has always been an oppressive, stringy type character with a lot of offense. Uh, guns let her be able to use a lot of chip damage on block just by using her guns. Like I said, good character to play with if you want to play a little bit more stringy. Similar to Asusina if you want to play a more stringy. You know, she's always been an offensive character, and this game is an offense game. So if you want to be a guy that presses a lot of buttons, but also strings people up, and if you want to go John Wick style, Atomic Blonde with the guns, why not? Get it in, okay? Uh, June Kazama. Pretty similar to uh, Asuka, but definitely stronger than Asuka. Um, she has a lot of weird gimmicky stuff with, like, healing, and um, she has a, a couple of crushes. Um, she has a lot of really good tools and stuff. She's one of those characters that's going to take a while for people to learn how to fight. So I, I could say if you want a couple of fast wins when the game comes out, she's your go-to character. I would suggest playing her if you want a little quick wins. But just be worried that once the game comes out and people really start labbing and learning all the, to fight all the characters, she might not be as good as she is now. So be on the lookout for that. Leroy is exactly the same as Tekken 7. He has all his tools. He has his counter hit back 1 plus 2. Down 3, 2. He has all his parries. So if you main Leroy and you go into Tekken, Tekken 8 and you play Leroy, there's not much you need to adapt to Leroy. He's still really strong. Um, a lot of his stuff does a lot of damage on chip. I would definitely recommend Leroy for somebody that plays Leroy already. He's really easy to play. Almost the same. So you don't really need to adapt too much to what he has to offer already. So why not play Leroy? Ling Zayu has always been a character specialist character. So if you don't play Ling, I don't really see you just going into her and playing her. 
she's the type of character you have to really like her and really really play with her and get used to playing her so good luck to everybody trying to learn Ling if you're a Ling player you're a Ling player if you're not a Ling player you're not a Ling player so basically I just say it like that she's really gimmicky so if you want a gimmicky more style character that can invade a lot with AOP plus do hard mix-ups with AOP and stuff like that and be tricky at the same time she might be good for you so check it out and see if you like her uh, Huaran is another stringy character similar like the Aso Senna Huaran is very very offensive string based pressure um, very strong a lot of chip damage a lot of mix-up constant oppression so if you want a character that's more offense than defense Huaran is the guy for you man he has really good offense hard to deal with strings and he's very good in heat and really good at doing chip damage so if you want a character like that Huaran is good to go Lars has changed a lot Lars is a lot more gimmicky and has a lot more mix-ups now. A lot of his stuff goes to stance now that it never used to go to. And it, it opens up his low mid mix-ups. Another thing with Lars is there's so much sparks and stuff in the game. It makes it really hard to block his stuff on reaction. So he's a really he's a really good character to play if you want to be super offensive. Plus make it hard for your opponent to defend and block against stuff. I feel like he has everything. He can play solid and he can play random. So Lars is a good character overall if you just want to trick your opponent and just overwhelm your opponent with pure offense. Lily, they increased the sidestep in the game. So Lily is extremely strong in this game because she can sidestep anything she wants in this game. Plus she already has everything she needs in the game. She has good pokes, great movement, great 50-50s in heat. This is probably one of the best versions of Lily and there's no reason not to play Lily if you're not a Lily player. So if you want a really strong character that can utilize the sidestep really well, she's a go-to character. Uh, Asuka, I've heard she got nerfed a lot. Her sidestep, I think it was 1 plus 2, uh, used to give a full combo into heat. But they nerfed a lot of her stuff. And her chip damage is really strong. So I'm guessing Namco saw all the stuff and saw how cheap she was and wanted to nerf her. Asuka is similar to June. Um, Asuka has a lot of reversals. She can reverse uh, punches, kicks, all kinds of stuff. Not knees, though. But I feel like... She's really easy and really easy to pick up, and I think anybody can play with her. But if you want a better character, you might as well go with June. But if you want to play Asuka, why not? Go. Good luck with her. Uh, Raven is pretty much nerfed in this game. They nerfed a lot of the knockdown lows and the 50-50s that he used to get. But he's still pretty strong, and he's still pretty gimmicky. Um, he has a lot of ninjutsu. He's a more trickier character. So if you want to play a really tricky character that has a good poke game and has some good gimmicks, he might be good for you. Why not try him out? Fang Wei is extremely strong. Almost the same as Tekken 7. He got nothing but buffs. Uh, back one in the heat is a full. He gets he gets a full shoulder. He gets counter hit properties in heat when he does back one. And it's safe on block. His uh, 3 plus 4, which is a big flip kick that he does, is like plus 17 on block when he's in heat. Uh, he has a guard break that, that breaks a guard on the wall. He gets a full combo. Uh, he has back turn launcher in heat, which is uh, the two, and then he has a back turn low. That's a full combo. He's just extremely strong and very, very simple to play. And I will recommend him for anybody. He's really easy, and if you want to win that Tekken, why not just play him? There's no reason not to play Feng. He's really strong, really simple, and almost the same as he was in the other game. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Me talking about all the characters in the game. And be sure to like, subscribe, and check out my stream, find Jim underscore Tekken, all right, guys? So on that note, take care, take it easy, and have some fun with Tekken 8. Peace out, everybody.